Let us not forget everything that happens. It's by the will of Allah. Holy it's time to unite and stand, and we will be the best amongst men. It's not time to be extreme or duty unthinkable, but to stand together as one. Turn into sooner followers, streaming. Every day, various platforms, trust me, you'll find a way, soon the followers. Assalamu alaikum, you class alert. Join us every Saturday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Central for the Articles of Belief by Muhammad S. Adli, right here on Soon the Followers. Salam Allah or Rasulullah. I uh, want to welcome everybody to our class entitled, uh, this is our Hadith class. And today what we're doing uh, are the Hadiths from the book entitled, and I had it up here, but I don't know why, it, there it is. The book entitled Articles of Belief. And this book is written by Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli. Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Atli. And you can get a copy of this book by going to www.adleyonline.com. Uh, the book is only maybe uh, no more than uh, six or seven dollars. And it should be a part of everyone's library because it's a very simple book that helps you to understand exactly what it means to believe in Allah, to believe in his angels, to believe in his prophets his, and the day of judgment. And we've been discussing uh, in this book, uh, what it means to believe in the day of judgment. And we spoke about judgment day just to see how well you guys have paid attention. Tell me about judgment day. Who can tell me about judgment day? In other words, what's going to happen on that day? Anyone? None of you know about Judgment Day? People in Zoom. Sabrina. That's going to be up for next. Oh, let me hear it from the babies. Go ahead. Tell me about Judgment Day. Our sports going to be up for next. What's going to be what? Our net, our sweat is going to be up to our neck. Mashallah, we'll be standing there sweating up to our necks. Why? Why will we be sweating up to our necks? Can you tell them why? Because we're being bad and not listening. For Yeah, because you're, you're going to get there. They're afraid of their punishments, right? They're afraid of what's going to happen to them. We're going to be so afraid of Allah on that day because you don't know if you've been good or naughty. You don't know if Allah is going to punish you with that hellfire or punish you with paradise. So the people are going to be standing there shaking in their boots, afraid on that day, sweating up to their necks. Good job. What else is going to happen on that day? Anyone else? We will be held accountable for our sins. Oh, yes, exactly. We're going to have to pay up to the piper. We're going to be held accountable for our sins. And how will we be held accountable? A lot of judgment. Yeah, but how will he judge us? What will he do to us? How will we be judged? What are we going to do? How are we going to be judged? Anybody remember? We're going to be judged on that day. How? You're going to be in a courtroom with lawyers and, and, and a judge or what? Okay, one of the brothers said, exactly. You will stand before a law and there will be scales brought out. Oh, yeah. Your good deeds will be put on one side of the scale and your bad deeds on the other. Oh, yeah. Good job. Also, another question here, Sister Trey said the dead will be risen from their graves. Exactly. Allah is going to have us rise up from out of the ground. 
barefoot, naked, and uncircumcised. Yeah, so the judgment day is a scary thing because whatever choices and whatever decisions we made in our personal lives, we are now going to have to answer to a law for them. And it can be a good ending for us or a bad ending. And, and before we even get there, before we even get to the judging, I want everybody listening to me to understand it begins at death. A lot of Muslims don't think about how you don't have to wait to judgment day to be judged, I mean, to be punished. Our punishment will begin in that grave. The grave is the first step into the hereafter. So when we're in that grave, we're not gonna just be laying there smiling and having a good time. We're not gonna be sleep. oh no. And that's what we're gonna speak about today. What happens in that grave? So let me put the uh, PowerPoint up on the screen. And it might be a little bit scary for the kids, but the kids need to learn the truth. It's no scarier than Freddy Krueger. Freddy Cougar and Jason, they're not real. But this stuff is. If you can listen to learn about Freddy Krueger and Jason and Halloween, then you need to learn about the truth about what happens in that grave. Let me put it up here on the screen. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hold on here. Let me start off with the um, people in Zoom as usual. We always begin with them. Oh, I don't have a PowerPoint opened up. Wait a minute. Hold on. It says no PowerPoint. No PowerPoint. Sorry. Here it is. Zoom with PowerPoint. There they are. Okay, and here's me. Okay, now here we go, guys, with the PowerPoint. There's articles. There we go. Okay, inshallah, everybody should be able to see this. And yeah, so this is what we're going to be speaking about today. We're covering the day of judgment. We're talking about how as Muslims, we believe in the day of judgment. But what many of us fail to understand, when we say that we believe in the day of judgment, we also believe not only everything that Allah told us about the judging, but also we believe in the trials of the grave. Because again, the grave is the stepping stone to the hereafter. And when we are in that grave, guys, two angels, two archangels will come and question the person in the grave. They're going to question you about your, your Lord, your religion, and the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For those of us who lived our life as real good Muslims, in other words, what do I mean by that? For those of us who lived our life obeying Allah, wearing hijab, growing your beard, performing all five of your prayers every day, fasting the month of Ramadan, giving in charity, staying away from the things Allah commanded. For those of us who live our lives that way, Allah will keep you firm because you're going to be scared. Those angels are not attractive. Those angels are the color of purple. They are black and blue in color. Black and blue means purple. They're gonna come to you. One of them is gonna have a crowbar in his hand, okay? Listen to this hadith. One of the companions says, we were with the prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, following uh, the funeral of a man who had died from amongst the Ansar. When we reached his grave, it was not yet dug. So the prophet sat down and we sat around him. He had a stick in his hand and he began to scratch the ground. 
He then said, seek refuge with the law from the punishment in the grave. He said it three times. The prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the person in the grave will hear the beat of their sandals when his family members leave. And at that moment, he will be asked, oh, so-and-so, who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your prophet? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's also another version of this hadith where another companion says two angels will come to the person in the grave and will make him sit up and will ask him, who is your Lord? If the person was a good Muslim, he will say, my Lord is Allah. Then they will say, what is your religion? If he was a good Muslim, he will say, my religion is Islam. And they will ask him, what is your opinion about the man who was sent on a mission amongst you? If he was a good Muslim, he will say he's the prophet of Allah. And they will then ask the man, how did you know of this? And if he was a good Muslim, he will say, because I read the book of Allah and I believed in the Quran and I considered its information to be true. And this is what Allah means when he says, Allah establishes those who believe with the word that stands firm in this world and the next. So again, this only happens to the Muslim who died in good standing with Allah. In other words, this is a Muslim who prayed his prayers, fulfilled all his obligations and didn't deliberately, intentionally die upon any sins. And if the person died in good status, an angel will call out from heaven and say, my servant has spoken the truth. So make a bed for him in paradise, clothe him in clothing from paradise and open up a door in his grave to paradise. So some of the air and perfume from paradise will enter into the person's grave and his grave will grow, will expand. So he won't be so crumpled up in it. Okay, but this is only if the person died a good Muslim. But as for the, the sinful Muslims, and who are the sinful Muslims? These are the people who died smoking drugs, used to smoke cigarettes. You didn't repent from doing drugs. You, you fornicated, you adulterated. You disrespected your parents, you robbed, you steal, you never, and you didn't commit coming, you didn't repent from those sins. For this person, his soul will be restored to his body and the same two angels will come to him and they will make him sit up too. And they will ask him, who is your Lord? And even though he will try, even though he will try to say Allah, Allah will prevent his tongue from moving. And instead he will say, I don't know, I don't know. They will ask him, what is your religion? And again, even though he may try to say Islam, he will only be able to say, I don't know, I don't know. And then they will ask him, who was the man sent on a mission to you? Even though he may know his name, he will only be able to say, I don't know, I don't know. So I want you guys to understand there are a lot of Muslims today who don't practice this religion. They're Muslim in name only, but they think that they, that they still, all they got to do is say they Muslim, memorize how to answer these questions and they'll be good. But the reality is, the prophet told us Allah will make it so that they can't open their mouths to give the, the, the correct answer. They'll only be able to say, I don't know, I don't know. Okay. And then after this, another angel will call out and said, this person has lied. So make a bed for him in the hell fire, clothe him in clothing from hell and open up for him in his grave a door to the hellfire. And then a door will appear and the heat from the hellfire will come into his grave. And his grave will be compressed, which means instead of being expanded, made larger, 
like the, the good Muslims, his grave will become smaller and his ribs will be crushed together. Does everybody understand that? This is what happens to those of us who die upon sins. You never quit smoking cigarettes. You did not wear hijab. You didn't make your prayers every day. You didn't fast a month of Ramadan. You lied, you cheated, you stole, whatever. And then that angel with that crowbar will take that crowbar and bam you over the head with it. He will hit you so hard that everything between the East and the West, except for humans and jinn in this world, will become, will, will hear it. And then you will, your body will become dust. Everybody understand that? Scary thing. And as a Muslim, we have to believe all of this because all of this is part of belief in the hereafter. Okay. And this will be the fate of the unbelievers, the hypocrites, and the wrongdoers. The only Muslims that will be saved from the, uh, the punishment of the grave are those of us who died in good standing, meaning that we repented from our sins. Okay? Listen to what Allah says in the interpretation of the meaning. And who is more unjust than the person who invents a lie about Allah and says, it has been inspired to me, while nothing has been inspired to him? And the one who says, I will reveal something like what Allah revealed. And if you could only see the sinful people who are in overwhelming pangs of death while the angels extend their hands saying, give up your souls. Today you will, you will be awarded with the punishment of extreme humiliation for what you used to say against Allah other than the truth. And we need to think about that. We got all these Muslims today running around speaking about this religion. You ain't qualified to speak about Islam. You don't even know how to pray properly. You're going around telling people things are haram that Allah never said. You're telling people things are lawful that Allah never said. You're not practicing this religion correctly. You're lying about Allah. You're lying about his religion. This will be the punishment of such people. Also in another verse, Allah says in the interpretation, the meaning, the fire, they are exposed to it in the morning and the evening and the day of the hour appears and it will be said to them, make the people of Pharaoh enter the, the worst punishment. So here Allah is telling us that the people in the grave, what goes on in the grave, this will go on until the day of judgment. If you are being punished for the sins, you will be punished every day until the day of judgment. Okay, so again, guys, we need to think about the choices and decisions that we make in this world because they're going to come back and haunt us when we're in that grave. We have a hadith where as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if it were not the reason that you should stop burying your dead in the graves or listening to the, or listening to the torment of the grave, which I am listening to, I would have certainly made you hear it. In other words, this is bad English, but what the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, if you could hear what I hear, because he was a prophet of Allah, Allah gave him the ability to hear the punishment of what was going on in the graves of the people. And he told the companions, if you all could hear what I hear, subhanAllah, Allah, you wouldn't even want to bury your dead. You wouldn't want to put them in this ground if you could hear the punishment that I hear. But again, that's for those of us who die sinful. But for those of us who die in good standing with Allah, it's different. Our souls will be placed in the form of green birds 
to fly around the throne of Allah and our bodies will be made to sleep in the grave. Whereas the, uh, the unbelievers and the sinful Muslims, their souls will be in hell being punished and their bodies will be alive and feel every single bit of pain. Listen to what Allah says in the interpretation of the meaning. Indeed, those who say that our Lord is Allah and they remain on that, the angels will come to them and say, do not fear, do not grieve. But instead, here is good news of paradise, which you have been promised. So the good ending is only for the believers. Also, we have another hadith where one of the companions says, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when a person is put in their grave and his friends return and he hears their footsteps leave, two angels will come to him and make him sit up. And they'll ask him about the prophet. The faithful believer will say, I testify that he was Allah's messenger and apostle. Then they will say to him, look at your place in the hellfire. Allah has instead given you a place in paradise. So he will see both of his homes. And by the way, guys, each and every one of us, every one of us has a house in hell and a house in paradise. When we're in our graves, we will see both houses morning and evening. Allah will show you, if you're a good Muslim, he will show you what would have been your home in hell. And he'll show you what will be your house in paradise. If you died a bad Muslim, Allah will show you what will be your home in hell and what would have been your house in paradise. And again, all of these things I am telling you are true. Even though they are part of the unseen world, what does that mean? That means we cannot see hell right now. We cannot see paradise. We cannot hear the people screaming in their graves when we pass a graveyard. But even though we can't see these things, even though we can't hear these things, we have to believe in them. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us to. And we should never ask how. Instead, we have to submit that this is what Allah has told us. And Allah always speaks the truth. And again, if you believe in Allah, you will accept what he says to be truth without question. 